breathful day everyone been doing a lot of experiments i don't know if you guys can even see that yeah i've been doing a lot of experiments well, that was a good thing I, I took a video of it so i don't have to really get up but we are literally in the chamber i'm not kidding let's zoom on this is what we're recording under you see all those all the scalar plates they're all emitting frequencies, and I did some readings on them as well. Hey, I'm not going live with anybody today, because after I explain the scalar chamber, we're going to get into some alchemy breath work. And if you didn't grab your tickets for May 28th, they're still available, but they are flying. I just woke up. From a nap and I'm like oh snap boom 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 just like that uh, so I was felt I felt inclined to <laughs> to really try this experiment because I'm gonna bring the same setup to the event as well and just hey utilize everything guys value 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 I'm gonna be utilizing everything and that's why I'm telling you if you own a scalar projector yourself bring them bring it bring it because then you can hold two every everyone that is coming will be hold, having a scalar projector in their hands okay oh so let me give you a, a good quick feed all right so we got some frequencies playing through here we're at 741 and if you can take a look this wire is all on the scalar wrapped around it going to the vajra Going to this wire and going to the many scalars <laughs> that are. All right, we got an audio lag. <laughs> and I just took the video too. I thought it would be fresh, but as you can see, the wire is connected to one scalar plate and then it connects to the many scalar plates. If you can see that, and they're all connected. So, I love um, utilizing the tensor ring because it's already copper, it's already conductive. So all I have to do is run one copper wire to the tensor ring and connect the, the, the scalars to it and then they're all conductive in terms of certain frequencies. And like right now, my whole spine is just like, <laughs> it, it's bubbling right now. Okay. And then let me show you the test that we did. Bear with me, but um, those are frequencies coming out of the scalar plate, just to like test it to show you that Yes, you can have as many scalar. <laughs> yeah, that's OD. <laughs> it's not OD, actually. It actually strengthens um, what you're putting out. So, yeah, it's like right now, I, I kid you not. My, my spine is tingling and my mouth, I taste uh, the nectar. It's just been, it's just been flowing. Zap them. <laughs> we'll actually we'll be doing some zapping with this breath work. Yeah, I'm actually going to starting tomorrow. I will be opening the opportunity for people to get extra scalar plates if they want. That way, they can really make a whole bed of of this that's another thing i'm going to be doing mm, but you can literally do that with the grounding mat as well you can run the copper wire from the scaler and then connect it to the grounding mat but then if you have another scaler like uh sophia here i think i saw her you can connect that to the main scaler and run frequencies from the transmitter 
going back and forth, back and forth. And the theory is, with antennas in general, hey, the more antennas you have, the more potent it'll be. <laughs> that was about 15 racks worth of scalers. <laughs> Does a home scaler comes with laptop? Yes, as the product description says. It comes with laptop, frequency generator, amp, and video tutorials. All right, guys. Thank you all for joining. We're going to be tapping in with some 369 breathing, only with one nostril. And we're going to be utilizing scaler. Well, you're already in the field. It should be emanating through the field already. Movement, momentum, exactly. So, before we start, set an intention with your breath. And I ask you, what are you breathing life into? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining the journey. I'm still testing out these different instruments. but set your intentions, my people. So we're gonna start. And the main thing for this whole session is you're gonna be covering your right nostril and only be breathing with your left. So we're gonna go over three, six, and nine in a beautiful cycle. So the first round, we're gonna be utilizing three. So it's, <laughs> and then a very long exhale. And you're going to go at your own pace. You don't have to follow me. But when you hear this, that'll be the cue to switch to six. So, and a very long exhale. And you keep on going. Very long exhale. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And then when you hear this again, you're gonna, then we're gonna switch to nine. Okay, so. And a very long exhale. And rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So I do wanna say, a great tip for those impulse breaths is to take in tiny inhales and then that last count, whatever number it is, that'll be your bigger inhale. So tiny inhales, what's more important is the, the pulsation that you're bringing and bringing in. And then as you exhale, especially when your exhale is longer than your inhale, now you're embodying that frequency that you set the pattern with. And when the exhale is a lot longer, you have way better, more efficient gas exchange. Hence, more oxygen absorption, that's one. And also, the love hormone. Does anyone know what the love hormone is? <laughs> yeah, this is pure nasal breathing. Oxytocin. All right. So to go over the instructions again, you're gonna be covering the right nostril and we're gonna be utilizing three, six, and nine. The first part 
is going to be threes. <laughs> You're going to take in a three in breath and a very long exhale out. And you're going to keep on going, keep on going. And then when you hear the scalar, that'll be the cue to switch to six. And then <laughs> inhale six, long exhale, all through the left nostril. Now, why are we utilizing the left nostril? Is because it is dealing with the parasympathetic. The left nostril is also the left side of your body and also the left side of your body is also where your heart is so there's more blood on the left side of the pathways etc 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 remember 70 percent of your blood is pumped by your lungs so then when you hear the scalar again then we switch to nine <laughs> And a very long exhale. I will not be talking moving forward because I want this to be a pure, breathful experience. And then when you hear the projector after the nine, you're going to switch to three all over again. And we're going to rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. All right, so get comfortable. You can be laying down doing this. You could be walking doing this. And we're gonna start. Remember to go at your own pace. You don't have to follow me. The longer the exhale, the better. Covering the right nostril. And we're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's go.
Relax the nose, breathing with both nostrils, one in, one out. Longer exhales, slow it down. Let the inhale come in naturally. for sharing the breath. So those that followed through, thank you. And utilize this randomly throughout the day. You don't just have to sit down and do it. You can do this while walking, just random times, because the reality is we deal with random stressors that you have no control over. So when you learn to implement uh, these styles of awareness in those stress factors. Now it's now you're seeing the ebb and flow of life and connecting with your breath, and also building a relationship with your breath. Mm. Yeah, does anyone want to hop on live and, and share what they felt?
Can you hear me? Um, I can hear you, brother. How are amazing. you? Amazing, amazing. Thank you for. Well, as a friend, a friend invited me to this, to this, this breathing work, and it's, it's, it's un- indescribable. I would say, because I'm in my house, and I just, I sit, I'm sitting at my kitchen counter, and I'm just doing exactly what you told me to do. And I, when I close my eyes, I could see different things, different images, different places, different alternate reality. I, w- I wasn't here, if that makes sense. Mm. I, I, I felt I feel my you. consciousness, like my, my feet was on the chair and I hear my phone buzzing, but I wasn't here. My body was here, but my mind was somewhere far off. I don't know where. So, and it, it, I, didn't, mm. I couldn't even feel my hands. All I know was my body, I could feel the electricity in my body, but I can't feel like I'm in this physical space. I wasn't here. I have a saying that the breath resides in all dimensions of reality. So um, as long as you focus on the harmonious aspect, uh, in my in my eyes, in my view, I call that the echoing effect. And when they were doing brain studies on me, they said that it's like I left my body. But personally, the, the more you do it, the more you, you're in tune with your breath, you realize you're not really leaving your body. You're actually echoing outwards. So your awareness is being expanded in terms of the environment something i experienced i don't know if anybody could attest to it when i was focusing on something that i wanted i felt here start like it felt like something was about to push through my my forehead and what my heart felt like i felt this one alignment and and when it was something i didn't want i it, it, it disconnected that was weird that was very weird to even experience, I felt it. I felt the connect when it when when I when I whenever I beam in on something like family, like if I want to spend time with family, for instance, I'm giving an example. The connect, I felt the I felt the 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 the, it, the, the signal went out and the magnetism pulling it in. Hmm. Now, now that is really using your breath as a as a compass, you know. Um, it's a powerful tool it tells us you know the more we're connected with our body and our breath and we're now we're now we're connecting not just with our breath but with different layers of our bodies and that that intuition and that connective thought patterns uh, decision making you know the bridge is there so that's that's a very powerful testimonial utilizing the breath as a compass and having that internal dialogue of what you truly uh, want, but what also feels good yeah. in a sense, or feels harmonious. True, yes. I, I, I've been, for, I, I've, I've known about electromagnetism. Our, our thoughts are electric. Our heart is magnetic. So whatever you send out is gonna come back in. But I just sort of, I wasn't even thinking about trying it. I was just thinking about a thought, like something I want to do with my family, and I just felt that mm. it, whenever I, I felt like my heart was a speed, like it was beating so hard, and this my forehead was almost like something was like be 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 here and here <laughs> if i if that if, if that's a good illustration yeah it makes sense brother and i really want to thank you for hopping on and and sharing the breath and also giving a, a testament to the aspect of literally using your breath as a compass thank you really thank you so, thank you much, so much for the exercise and thank you for the experience all right peace thank and you. love peace all right one more and then i'm off i see you tommy one more (laughs) one more person's hopping in and then i'm gonna head out hey devin nice to meet you um so uh i've been following you for i don't remember exactly how long maybe uh, i think over a year now you you commented on uh uh, John 108's post yeah, went down the rabbit hole. Um, I'm, I'm really into like electrical engineering, so um, your your interest in, in Tesla and uh, those those technologies kind of you know intrigued me. 
but I, I just wanted to say that I felt a little stuffy today and uh, I, I feel like this is the, the best I've, like the way I'm breathing right now, I feel like it's the, the best I've, I've been breathing in like months probably. Uh, I felt a mm -hmm. connection to my blood, um, like a stronger connection to my blood. Um, like I was more in tune with the way that it was and it was kind of, it was kind of like um, this process was making me more, more deeply aligned, more, more deeply in tune with what's, what's good for my blood, what's good for, I guess, anyone's blood, like that, that process in all humans, just kind of like the, the fundamental harmonious way that that, that could be and, and just like how, how to align with it. Um, and I, I just, um, I don't know, your, your intuition is just mind blowing. I really want to, uh, share this with people. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, I don't know. I mean, I was, I was expecting this to be really interesting, but I like stunned way. So thank you so much. Um, thank you brother. And you're welcome on here anytime. I appreciate you sharing your experience and thank you sharing the breath. Appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, thank, thank all of you. All right, guys, I got to jet out of here. Appreciate it. If you found value in this, I decided I'm going to keep this up. So uh, it'll be available for replay. If you found value in this, share it. If you find value in any of my content, please share. Appreciate all of you. And don't forget, May 28th, we have a very historic scalar <laughs> event. Tickets are flying. And I want to let you know that um, the, uh, the event space, it's only like, 10 minutes away from the Miami airport. So if you're flying in, because I do see a lot of people that are flying in, um, this is why I picked this particular spot because it is literally 15 minutes, quick Uber ride straight to the event center. And it feels right doing it at the particular spot. And I'm really pumped to see uh, what we can co-create. So. Truly honored we have the violinist Ari. If you've ever been to any of my Brett Dojos, Ari is fire. <laughs> the, some of the Brett Dojos I really need to put on other platforms, like just the audio part, because we created some magic. I think it was Brett Dojo um, 7, Frequency Breathing. That was the theme. Pure magic. So also, if you don't know, there's a bunch of breath journeys. And if you want to dive into alchemy breath work and utilizing it in real time beyond the sit down session, check out the website alchemybreath.org. There's also breath family members group that has everything in there. And we also do live sessions just like this. And in that sense, you gotta go. All right, guys, have a breathful day. If you have any questions and also leave your experiences and what you felt and share it with your loved ones.